Hey, thank you for watching this video. There's more online at Embark Online. You can tweet me, and of course, here's the pie guy. All right, this is first grade, module six, lesson 26. And in this lesson, the, the specific objective says to solve, compare with bigger or smaller unknown problem types. So this is one of the kinds of addition and subtraction problems that uh, are listed in the glossary of the Common Core Math Standards, right? But the real focus of this lesson is helping our students learn how to model their thinking of the word problem using tape diagrams. So the focus is really on letting your students uh, practice drawing those tape diagrams. Now parents and teachers, um, what's a little tricky for, for you is that there's not always just one way, one correct way to model um, the tape diagram. So let your students explore, let them practice, let them have fun, and, you know, enjoy the ambiguity and the, the kind of the, the variety that you're going to experience. So let's get started. So here's the same eight steps that I showed in the earlier video, in the previous video. Uh, however, it's a different format. Uh, if you want to see this, you can go to bit.ly slash word problem eight steps. I think it's eight steps. I'm not sure if that 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 uh, uh, the letter S is supposed to be there. It's either word problem eight step or it's word problem eight steps with an S. Uh, but anyway, that link is gonna send you to the eight steps, the classic eight steps. So the first step, now I uh, am providing, this is an example from the second grade, uh, but it's basically step one, read the problem. Step two, turn it into an answer sentence with a space. Uh, determine who and what is involved, draw the bars. Uh, read the questions, and of course students are going to be drawing or reading the questions a lot. Uh, put the question mark where it needs to go, uh, do your work, and then lastly fill in that blank space. All right, so there's your steps for the eight steps to solving word problems. This was not my invention. It's from a book uh, I found a long time ago. And if you want to find this document, it's like bit.ly slash word problem eight step or maybe an S at the end, I can't remember. So let's get started. I'm only gonna do half the problems this time around. So it says, Fatima walks 15 blocks home from school. Ben walks eight blocks. How much longer is Fatima's walk home from school than Ben's? So the question, the answer sentence would be, Fatima, uh, Fatima's walk, is blank uh, blocks longer. So there is our answer sentence with a blank. Now we're gonna do the work and we're gonna fill in that blank afterwards. So we've got two characters. We've got Fatima and we've got Ben. So we've got Fatima and we've got Ben and we're gonna draw their tape diagrams. We're gonna give them both the exact same length then we're gonna modify our tapes as we read. So it says Fatima walks 15 blocks home from school, Ben walks eight blocks. So we know that Fatima's tape represents 15. So I'm gonna write in a 15 right here, 15. And then it says Ben walks eight blocks. So whose tape is supposed to be the shorter one? Well, Ben's is supposed to be shorter. So I'm gonna cross off some of Ben's, and it doesn't exactly matter how much, and we're going to indicate that this remaining portion is the 8. So Fatima's is 15, Ben's is 8, and we had to cut off some of Ben's tape diagram in order to represent the 8. Now the question is, how much longer does Fatima's walk home? So the question is saying, what's this piece right here? Because that is the piece that signifies how much longer Fatima is than Bill, uh, Ben, I mean. So what are we gonna do to represent this little piece right here? Well, that's gonna be 15 minus eight, 
gives us 7. So we know that Fatima, her walk is 7 blocks longer. So that this piece right here represents a 7. Now, there's another way we could have done it. We could have represented both bars as an 8 and then added on to Fatima. So there's a variety of different models that would all work so parents and teachers don't freak out if some students draw a model looking one way and other students draw it looking totally different. The idea is, does the picture, as different as it may be, does the picture that the student draw accurately reflect the problem? If the answer is yes, rock on. So Tamara has five books checked out from the library. Kim has 11 books checked out from the library. How many fewer books does Tamara have checked out than Kim? So Tamara checked out blank fewer books. All right, there's our messy writing, but there's our answer sentence. Now we're gonna do the work. And we've got two characters. We've got Tamara, we've got Kim. Let's draw the exact same tape diagrams. Because this is really just a continuation of yesterday's lesson or lesson 25's video. So Tamara has five books checked out from the library. Kim has 11 books checked out. So we know that Tamara's tape diagram represents five. So this tape right here represents five. Then it says, Kim has 11 books checked out. So whose tape is longer, whose tape is shorter? Well, Tamara's is supposed to be shorter, Kim's is supposed to be longer. So there's Kim's extra. And then it says, Kim has 11 books checked out from the library. So that means this whole length from here to here represents 11. And actually, we know that this piece right here represents five because remember, this tape and this tape were the same length, so they're both fives. So the question is, how many fewer books does Tamara have checked out from then Kim? So that means we need to figure out this piece right here. Well, we see, here's our picture, and we see that the whole thing is 11. This piece is five, so 11 minus five gives us six. So Tamara checked out six fewer books then Kim. All right, the last problem we're gonna do for this video. During recess, Emmy found 16 rocks. She found five more rocks than Peter. How many rocks did Peter find? find? So we're gonna say Peter found blank rocks. We've got two characters. We've got Emmy and we've got Peter. We're gonna give them both the exact same length of tape. And then we're going to go back and we're going to read that question. So during recess, Emmy found 16 rocks. So this length right here represents 16. And then it says she found five more rocks than Peter. That means Peter's tape has to be shorter by five. And then it says how many rocks did Peter find? So that's this piece right here. So we want to know that little piece. Now we know that the whole thing, this whole length, remember, is 16. But it got shorter by 5, and so that means 16 minus 5 gives us 11. So that means this piece right here is 11. So that piece is 11. So Peter found 11 rocks, because that shows us how many rocks Peter found. And that wraps up first grade module six, lesson 26. We're solving some specific word problems, but really the focus is using uh, those tape diagrams to model our thinking.